It's a, a really exciting year. Uh, obviously, I've been involved um, right from the start when we had a very small team and um, you know, really gone from about 11 athletes uh, to this year sending uh, 48 um, in Olympic class boats. So that's, uh, that's a pretty awesome uh, place to be. And, um, yeah, it's, it's quite impressive. I was just noticing this morning, you know, finishing off that piece and, and coming back down. And, um, you know, it's just amazing to see all those boats behind you. So, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's very, very exciting for the sport to uh, have got to this point. Um, obviously, it's only job half done. We've, we've got to try to qualify them now, and uh, that's the, the real challenge this year. A really good vibe happening here at Rowan New Zealand at the moment. It's really competitive and it's so great that all the boats are filled this year and you can really tell not only there's more people around but um, everyone just bounces off each other and every week we have the squad sessions tw or twice a week and so it's really competitive everyone's trying to beat each other on prognostics and um, yeah it's just a really good supportive environment. It's just so amazing to be in and you're always pushing yourself there's always someone better than you and just always like a benchmark where you want to get to. The culture really hasn't changed since I first arrived um, you know in 2001 so you know it's a it's a competitive environment um, but we're all very supportive of each other and, and the greatest thing is 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 you know once we've got been selected in the crews um, you know we can all go to the world champs and, and win and uh, you know that's that's a really nice thing although we are competing on a daily basis and for me you know personally I'm racing the, the women's double every day but ultimately both of us are trying to better the other one um, so that we can both get the results uh, at the the, uh, the time that counts which is obviously the world champs and Olympic Games. We can draw obviously comparisons between all the world champ crews that we have out there and it's such a good indication for us of whether we're going fast or not. Um, we also, you know, you go out there and compete against the other people from the crew and that really pushes us to be better so we're lucky we have a big strong squad um, and it would be so exciting to, um, you know, do so well and have a full, a full uh, boatload of teams go to the Olympics. Um, one thing about London was that I really enjoyed was the fact that we did well alongside of so many other crews that did well so we can all enjoy the success together. You know the facilities are great. Um, I started in a little green shed that was all it was, it was a green shed and, and now to have you know the high performance centre, um, you know these facilities here that were built for the, the world champs, um, you know we, we've got a, a world class facility and, and uh, you know the the support now around that, and uh, you know that's one of the, the big reasons that we are the the top rain nation in the world. Yeah, I guess it's got pretty professional these days. There's pretty much every ish you can think of. Um, you know, physiologist, biomechanist, massage therapist, obviously, um, and you know I guess it's up to the athletes to pick and choose or work uh, work out how to make those services benefit their performances on the water the most. We're very lucky to have a training base like this, Just especially just having all our athletes in one area and able to compete against them every day and then having water like this to roll on whereas some people are stuck on like a little 2k course having to turn around all the time, especially in an 8 when it's hard boat to turn around. <laughs> um, yeah, like I feel like that's probably part of the reason New Zealand rowing is so successful. Most Olympic Games you'll only have one or two countries that, that uh, has every boat at the Olympic Games. So, you know, I think uh, at the moment we're, we're the, the best rowing nation in the world and, um, you know, that was, that was a pretty awesome uh, thing to get last year in, in Amsterdam. And, um, you know, obviously it's now trying to build on that and, and continue that uh, both this year and, um, you know, the year that really counts is uh, next year in Rio. At the moment we're just, you know, firing and we've got a great team behind us, so it's not just the athletes, it's all the coaches, the physiologists and all the support staff are just working so um, well together to coordinate a really strong approach. Oh, it's certainly possible. It's not. It's not uh, certainly not a given, and it's certainly not going to be easy. So, you know, we really need some results to go our way. And um, you know, there's some some really tough qualifying positions this year. I think the women's quad and both the eights uh, have to be top five. Um, you know, just to qualify. So, you know, that's a that's a tough ask um, in in any uh, in any year. So, um, you know, but but I, th I think we've got the caliber and we've got the talent that that it is it is possible and, and the athletes are capable of it. So, uh, hopefully, um, you know, things fall into place and, and everyone does the job.